Welcome back to The Daily Rundown. I'm Paul Burgess and thank you for watching Channel 7. You can get in touch with the show at The Daily Rundown on Twitter or email Daily Rundown, all one word, at thatstv.com. On that, Jackie, what is your something to say on the last Daily Rundown of the week? Right, you watched First Dates this week, didn't you? I did. Did you watch First Dates? No, I didn't, actually. Right, well, there was a thing on this morning, yesterday, and it's about etiquette on a first date. If it's dinner or whatever, what that involves food, a meal, does a man pay on a first date or not? Or is it expected? Well, there, yeah, that's the, I'm kind of, yeah, sort of modern times, you go, well, it's, I'd say no now in terms of, well, if it's like, but again, this is the whole thing, it's about going, um, well, it's because, because I'd hope, I'd be planning to date a bloke anyway, so there's always that, but so it's kind of interesting, it's like, well, over to the, over to the, yeah. Right, I, I, what, hap still what think, happened yeah, this so week, th what happened yeah, this week was, the date was going fine, it was going really well, and then the bill came. Mm. And then he said, oh, she will we'll go halves. And she was not happy. And that, that mm. changed everything for her then. She expected him to pay. But I think, and then there was a thing on this morning. But I think with first dates, it's different anyway, because it's set up. He's, they're saying, well, if, if a man's asked a, a woman out, but he's not asked her out. But what usually happens on first dates is if he fancies her, then he usually pays. Right. That's what usually happens. See, I'm thinking that men paying for a woman's meal is an old tradition from the times when... Women didn't earn. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's and strange. nowadays, yeah. you have to take finances into consideration. She might have had four pensions and he might have had one. Exactly. And she's expecting yeah. him to pay yeah. for the meal. Now, you've got to take that kind of thing into consideration. But I've never liked these roles anyway. I always said... Years ago, I used to have a girlfriend called Michelle, and I loved her to bits. And I always said to her, if you bring me 12 red roses, mm -hmm. get down on one knee and ask me to marry you one day, I'll probably say yeah, but it will never happen the other way around. Right. Because I wanted that. Mm. Because those roles bother me. Yeah, but it's they're, tradition, they're so it's just set tradition. In concrete. But it's one of them. A lot of women still expect that. A lot I know. of women on a first date still expect everything paid on a first date. I know. I don't think. What do you be. think? No, I don't. I don't think. I think he should offer, but I would say no. And I think some men might go into that category mm. where they would ask but not expect to pay. Yeah. Um, but some of them might think, I can't offer because if she says yeah, yeah. I'm broke. But if he doesn't Literally, offer, yeah, but if he doesn't be. offer, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's, if he doesn't offer, it's like, I, I think it'd be nice if he did offer, I'd say, well, thanks for offering, but actually no, we'll go halves. But I wouldn't expect him to offer because that, that's changed. It's modern society now and that's all changed. Yeah. But we women a still, a lot of women still expect that. I know. We had a chat today as well, didn't we, about uh, guys who don't ask questions back. Yeah, guys Because that, ask, it's, yeah. that was yeah. one of the guys on first yeah. dates last yeah. week. And the, the girl who'd never yeah. dated mm. before, that was her first date. Yeah. And she was brilliant at it. And she was asking this guy questions. Yeah, but women do. But I've been on two dates today. The first one at lunchtime, he didn't ask me one single question. Nothing. I could tell you everything about him. And oh. I said a few things and he just went, right. Uh, da, 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 da. And I said something else, right. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Right. So it's like, right, okay. Now the second one, <laughs> it's um, half past six tonight. He asked a lot of questions. He wanted to know a bit, a, a lot more, but which was nice. But I was also doing the same to him. But quite a few guys don't. Quite a few guys don't. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's interesting because I, I I think quite a lot is changing quite quickly in terms of what people are kind of kind of ex expecting, but also yeah. even, but also about I, I think um, you know what you want to get to is a it's sort of a point of honesty about it all, really, isn't it? I mean, I kind of much rather rather people felt felt comfortable. I mean, that's that's certainly what I'd want. Yeah. For to be to be. For, 
to spend time with people that you feel comfortable and say like well listen it's like um sorry it's it's the end of the month and i'm broke and i can't lose it it's like, well, but should we go out anyway yeah. um and also just not sort of feel that it it also has some kind of other agenda in it and i think that's the thing that's really tough the tough it's when the, there's feels like there's something playing underneath and you don't quite know what's going on i you know i'd just much rather have it all on 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 there on the table really i guess Mm. Well, there's, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, I just want to find somebody who I want to see again, you know, for a second date, right? And then, because you've gone past the first one, you think, all right, we're getting on really, really well, but we're still missing that something. It's, I just want to find the second date. I think, uh, I'm, I've got a lot of female friends. I think women can overanalyze. Yeah. On dates, and instead of instead of seeing that well, it's the glass half full, glass half empty scenario, it's immediate. It's coming away from a situation and, and seeing right, that's problem, that's problem, that's problem. Instead of, hang on, this guy's out dating, so he wants to date. Yeah. What if I? What if they don't matter because this good thing, this good thing, and this good thing happen? I know what you're saying. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you're saying. It's just, I mean, we were talking about it in my date tonight. He said at our age, no, we've got baggage. And for him, and he was, he was great. I knew, I knew I didn't fancy him or anything, but he was really good company. But for me, where his baggage was concerned was he had an 11 year old and three daughters. So I am not going to be high on his priorities. I, now I would say that that was an assumption because he might, when he's with somebody, make them his priority. He went with an 11 year old, Paul full-time 11 year old it doesn't matter it, it's it did say himself that that was the priority right you know that's, that's kind of interesting one also yeah probably advice for those of us who've got got kids you know is I mean I've, I've got a young, young son as well and also it, it is interesting because it does kind of um, make you think wow that is a whole other yeah. ball game it is um, in terms of what people and you know yeah. what people expect and also say it's not but don't count though count us <laughs> those who yeah. also got kids out yet yeah. but it, it's, in, it's interesting it's just but it's yeah but it's it's interesting about where that where you know where those I'm not going to count kids out mm. what I would mm. expect an 11 year old grandson not mm. an 11 year old son right yeah do, do you know, know what I mean I do know what you mean mm. Jackie actually 11 year old grandson I expect mm. that mm. but an 11 year old son I don't mm. Loz it's your turn tell us all your stuff that oh, you want to say no, I, yeah, yeah I mean I'm just <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh yes I'm just uh, uh, sort of just shimming off dating. shimming off shimming, uh, shimming off in another direction or perhaps slightly going back to the whole beard thing again because it's um, because it's about um, uh, Jeremy Corbyn com uh, coming up again um, I, I, apparently we've, we've We've already sort of covered um, um, one of the sort of the latest Jeremy Corbyn um, policy things on this um, this show, which is his digital manifesto. And we were sort of all talk talking about earlier about actually how much things have changed in terms of particularly about how we say use the BBC, that we're more used to the iPlayer now and watching things online. Um, um, so I just want to sort of centre in a kind of new bit of a context. I think it's really interesting that. Um, that he and his team thought this was necessary and a good idea now because normally you'd expect in that kind of leadership context maybe sort of five or five or six years ago for a major party is that you get okay it would be about health education um defense you know the kind of those traditional subjects and um and suddenly we've got a digital manifesto is one one of the things which actually is great news for, for for me and what i do and what we do in open intelligence which is about kind of analyzing how sort of politics and tech meet each other um and i thought it was really interesting it was like also there were quite a lot of ideas in it which would have been radical five years ago and stuff that i you know i'd been kind of arguing for 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 some years and suddenly go oh look here it is actually in the kind of the ideas in a major party and i think that's kind of really so interesting shift that also politics is changing not just in terms of um who's getting involved um, but also to the, the, the idea the ideas are there so kind of one example is that in that was um, 
uh, proposals to do with what's known as net neutrality and I think that probably doesn't mean that much to most people. Basically what it is is that um, it's really important in terms of the stuff that you download for example is that um, the, the company, so say BT, Virgin, whatever it is that you use, they could choose, for example, uh, to say promote their online products yeah. and also make it more difficult. So it's like so that they could channel you in one direction to say so that and potentially that's got really big implications in terms of how we consume news. That like so if they wanted, you know, if they if Sky wanted to kind of focus you onto their services, they could they could make it they could actually sort of what's known as throttle um, downloading for other news services and promote theirs right. um, um, and this has been a kind of issue so it's quite a technical issue on one level but it would fe- affect absolutely everything that of the or the way that we're used to using the internet at the moment also so and that was I'd say and so the, the idea of net neutrality is that you treat everything the same and that also that you potentially make that law and you promote that idea so that was in there now that was also one of the things that I mean now I, I we've been kind of arguing for for some time to go right. oh yeah okay right okay well perhaps I can just put my feet up now and also leave it to the <laughs> <It's> probably <laughs> not me. quite like that though it's like um um, because it's also uh, there's one of the big sort of problems is like in terms of, is that still the Labour Party um, is supporting what for, for, for people like me who are interested in sort of digital and politics one of the really sort of things which I think is really dangerous which is to do with mass internet surveillance it's also that um, that, that uh, Theresa May all the time that she was um, Home Secretary was putting in pushing this law which is essentially which is essentially about means that everything that we do online or how all the ways that we communicate will be kept and studied potentially studied really dangerous but um and i kind of hope the labor party was going to also oppose that but still not which is a bit disappointing you know there you go we're i could listen for ages but we're going to take another break now but please don't go away i'll be back with my guests in just a minute with some of the more strange stories here on the daily rundown stay with us (laughs) 